sleeping is awesome. The only downside is you're probably going to get jarred awake by some annoying alarm, and you'll snooze that again and again and again. So let's change that with the help of a smart bulb and your Hubitat Elevation Hub. Hi, this is Pete, your Hubitat Hub Whisperer, and I'm really very excited about today's project. We're going to make our very own wake-up light. Now, wake-up lights are all the rage these days. They promise better sleep, and they're going to improve your circadian rhythms, whatever those things are. Um, they're also very expensive and kind of stupid looking. So we're going to make our very own version using the Singlet Smart LED Bulb and your Hubitat Hub. Now this Singlet Bulb is an A19 bulb, fits into most lamps. It's a Zigbee bulb. It does require a hub. Um, fortunately, it pairs directly with your Hubitat Elevation Hub without needing any sort of app or any sort of a bridge. Now this is a very traditional looking bulb. As you can see, it's a very reliable performer. The colors are quite good. It's responsive and overall, I've really been quite pleased with the bulb. The bulb has 16 million colors, so we're going to go through each of those one at a time right now. All right, close enough. For whites, it can range from 2000 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, which is a pretty typical range for this type of bulb. So let's automate our wake-up light. Now there are multiple ways to skin this goat. You don't have to go nuts. You can build this using the simple automation rules app. Starting at 621 AM is our trigger. We'll set the dimmer to 80% and have it fade to that level over the course of 20 minutes or 1200 seconds, which I totally didn't have to use a calculator to figure out. Now to make this functional, we have to set a few restrictions. We only want this to happen Monday through Friday, obviously. Then we need a way to turn this wake up light off if we're planning to call in sick and go golfing. So we have to create a virtual switch and if we select that here, once our rule is saved, we can go to our mobile app anytime, go to devices and turn this rule on or off. And here it is in action, sped up of course. By the way, if you've never created a virtual device before, it is pretty slick. Go to add device, select virtual, then you can select a switch that can be used in the app, dashboard, or built into rules. So now you've got your very own wake up light. Pretty cool, right? So why use a color bulb for a wake up light? Well, because if you really do want to go nuts, you can create a wake up light that does this. Oh, look at that. It's like having a majestic miniature sun rising in your bedroom. You're going to wake up feeling like a princess every morning, just ready to seize the day. Building an automation like this does require a little bit more know-how, and you'll have to use the Rule Machine app. Essentially, once you set your trigger event for the time you want the light to start, you're going to build your actions so that you set your color, starting at red, then set the dim level to fade up over the course of a few minutes, then delay the rule for the duration of the fade, and then basically repeat that process, setting the color, moving slightly, having it fade up over time, delaying, etc, etc. And eventually you'll get a rule that looks like this. I have this light running in my middle school son's bedroom to wake him up for school, and he has been slightly less of a zombie in the morning, so mission accomplished. Well, I hope you like this automation. Let us know down in the comments if you've tried something similar in your house. Next episode, we'll be automating a Yee Light smart bulb, so be sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell to be notified when it comes out. This has been the Hubitat Hub Whisperer, and as always, thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.